When deploying to your test environment, there are a few easy set of considerations you should ponder to help you troubleshoot problems more quickly should the need arise. Since Jasperport server is a web app and we're heavily database driven, we'll focus on logging of queries and web request logging as well. You might want to see your SQL queries being generated for reports as well as ad hoc views. So as super user, hit manage server settings. You'll be brought to the log settings page. Enable SQL Query Executor and just toggle debug. That'll immediately take effect. As soon as that happens, you can run any report. And you'll get query logging. To find the logging, enter your app server, go to your web-inf directory, find the logs directory, and edit or open Jasperport server.log in your favorite text editor. And as you see, we have our queries being logged. You can also see queries which are being generated on the fly without the logs. Uh, this can be done within ad hoc views only. To do so, go to manage server settings, ad hoc settings, enable this checkbox and hit change. And then immediately within your ad hoc view, you'll now have an ungrade box here or button that you can hit and it'll show you what, ad, uh, what query is being generated by the domain and ad hoc layers. Another type of logging to consider is web requests. Uh, web servers, application servers, including Tomcat, typically have a logging for HTTP requests. Tomcat calls this their access log valve. Uh, out of the box it is not enabled, but it's defined. You just have to configure it. To do so, open up your server.xml file within your Tomcat conf directory. Go to the bottom. It's predefined. Mine has been uncommented. And I've also added percent %d. Percent %d is defined in the Tomcat documentation here is the time taken to process the request. That's useful to determine how long requests are taken to flush back out from Jasper's server. Uh, back to the network layers heading toward the browser. Uh, again, you can uh, define a different file name if you like and what that looks like. If you go into your app server Tomcat uh, log directory, you'll see lots of requests. You get your action, your URL, and the millisecond taken for the response and uh, HTTP code encryption that as well. Uh, other app servers probably have this as well. Uh, you'll need to consult with your experts there if you're using a different app server other than Tomcat. Next, consider auditing and monitoring, uh, which is a feature offered to customers with the enterprise license. Uh, this feature captures event data and logs it to database tables, repository database tables that can be uh, used via pre-built reports and domains that we ship, or you can build your own reports and domains to look at this event data, which gives you a historical record to track what's going on in uh, the system. Uh, the admin guide contains documentation for configuring this. It also discusses the various events. And this is only a subset of events, but as you see, report queries, how long reports take, if reports are scheduled, when reports are run, etc. It's very useful. To enable this, uh, in the web-inf directory <coughs> of your deployed web app, Edit your js.config.properties. Ensure the top level feature is true, and then enable each subset as defined within the uh, Jasper Server Admin Guide. Both the mine are true. And uh, this immediately creates entries in database tables, again, that you can query. Uh, you can use reports and ad hoc views and domains to check these out and get information on who's doing what and what is occurring within your system. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this today and good luck logging in your development test environment.